Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to talk about a bit of a beginner topic. What graphics card should you buy? I've only ever owned a single graphics card, the GTX 750 Ti. At the time it was perfect for me, but now I'm looking to upgrade and I'm trying to find a GPU that's perfect for myself. Picking the right graphics card can be awfully hard to do, especially since there's so many of them. Not only that, but once you decide on one, there are tons of graphics cards for that single GPU. And so the point of this video today is to help you narrow down the selection process so that you get exactly what you're looking for. Let's get started. There are several things to keep in mind when you're looking for a graphics card, so let's list them right here. What games do you plan on playing? What kind of features do you want? What's your price range? And the last two, what kind of power supply do you have and what kind of case do you have? Let's start with the most important. What kind of games do you plan on playing? We could always talk about how AMD or Nvidia is great in their specific games like Hitman DX12 or Anno 2205DX11, but it doesn't actually matter unless you're going to be playing those games. Much like there's no point in getting a GTX 1070 if all you want to play is CSGO and Terraria. A quick look at the top games on Steam right now. If the main games you're looking at playing are Dota 2, CSGO, Team Fortress 2, Minecraft, Unturned, Gmod, or Civ 5, or even just all the old Dark Souls and Call of Duty games, you'll be fine with the GTX 750Ti, GTX 950, R7 370, or an RX 460. If you want to play all the latest games as they come out, like Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Watch Dogs 2, Doom 2016, Battlefield 1, then you might be better off with an RX 480, GTX 1060, RX 470, GTX 970, GTX 980, heck, even a GTX 1070. But it's really not that black and white once you get into it. Because then it comes to the point of what features do you want? What exactly are you looking for? If you just want to play games, then pick one of the GPUs I just mentioned and be done with it. But some people want special features tailored to their needs and wants. This can range from cards with great cooling, low noise, overclocking potential, which are all linked together. First, overclocking potential, or OC potential. Again, this video is for beginners, so not going to go in depth. Overclocking, or OCing, is just setting your graphics cards or other components settings to a higher level or frequency so that they run better than they do at stock performance. A higher overclock means higher fan speeds are needed to keep it at safe temperatures, and so cooling is generally greater with more fans, bigger fans, or liquid cooling. More power is needed to keep it running at the speed you set, and more power means heat again bringing in the cooling. Generally, it won't matter too much which version of a GPU you buy. It's more likely that the bigger ones with more power connectors can achieve greater OCs, much like the Fury Nitro here or this iChill card. But then you say, look at all those fans, will I even be able to hear myself talk over all the noise? Hopefully, if you pick the right one you will. There are some crazy GPUs out there like this one with no fans, but that's not so practical for the more powerful GPUs. And so, despite the thought that this will be very loud, it's really one of the quieter coolers out there. Not only does it have a feature that leaves the fans completely off and idle, but since there are three large fans, they can all run at a lower speed to get the same amount of cooling as one or two smaller fans at a higher speed, which make more noise. This is for the 980 Ti though. A high power card that has crazy performance, so a smaller cooler for a smaller card like this may actually be quiet enough. So I guess it really depends on the exact GPU that's getting cooled, then afterwards a proper cooler can be picked. Then again, you may not care about any of this if you're like me, always having headphones on and in that case skip the quiet cards. I suggest looking into sound if you're using a PC with speakers most of the time, or if you use it for stuff while you're sleeping. Then of course we have the settings you want, and the games you want to play. Maybe you're fine with playing all the newest games on low settings, then a GTX 950 will be great for you. Max settings in older games than 2014 like Battlefield 4, Dark Souls 1 and 2, maybe a 750Ti will do it for you. Generally if you want 60fps in older games, a low end card like the GTX 950 or 750Ti will be fine for you. And in newer games on higher settings, the RX 480 and GTX 1060 will be fine. Max settings at the highest FPS possible will get you a Fury X, GTX 1070, or 1080 if you have the money to throw around. But of course, all this doesn't go without saying what price you're willing to pay. You want max settings at the highest FPS under $300? The RX 480 and GTX 1060 will likely be good enough. Looking to play League of Legends or CSGO on the cheap? 750Ti's are regularly going on sale under 70 now. Do you want to play new games at playable settings and frame rates at a reasonable price? The GTX 950 and RX 460 for $130 to $100 could be your pick. 
want the best but think even $1200 is unreasonable, get a GTX 1080 and OC the heck out of that thing. It'll get close enough. And lastly for those budget people out there, I know what it's like. I had to buy a pre-built desktop and deal with Intel HD for a few months until I could finally afford a GPU. Yay 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 and hold up! I couldn't just buy any one of them. By looking inside my PC I found that the power supply in my pre-built only supplied 300 watts maximum to my entire system. And I didn't have any extra PCI power connectors either, so what the heck was I supposed to do? Then, my case is so small it can't even fit most regular graphics cards. And so I found a GPU that did everything I needed. The one I found didn't take extra power, which is the 750Ti right here, or the RX 460. It was an ITX model also, which was small enough to fit in the pre-built case. Not only that, but the TDP of both of these cards didn't put my computer in serious danger, and you can calculate that yourself with this PSU calculator, link in the description. And so after laying out the basics for you, I highly suggest doing some research of your own to find exactly what you want. For most people, a low-end GPU like the 950 or RX 460 will be fine. And by most people, I mean those playing the top 10 games on Steam, or older games. But after that, it's really up to you what features you want or don't care about and what other games you might want to play. I didn't mention resolutions or refresh rates, but generally if you plan on actually reaching higher FPS, or playable FPS at higher resolutions, it might be best to get the best possible GPU you can afford. Alright everyone, thanks for watching the video, hope I could help in making your decision. Subscribe and like this video to show your support, and again, thanks for watching, have a great day.